Hi, today's day 12 of my 30 days of React and apologies in advance, there are dogs barking, barking. there are road works going on next door so if I have to pause the video at some point, apologies, but I had to get it recorded so um, yeah. Anyway, today I've played with another API which is a random, which re generates random users and I've just used it in a very simple sense to pull some random user data onto a page and generate a list of people. Um, images and emails. Um, yesterday I played with like fetching data on click but this time I've played with fetching data um, upon like loading the page so that I can use a lifestyle life cycle method. So let's have a look. A quick demo so you can see here we have a list of users and um, if I reload the page <laughs> you can see it um, automatically generates 10 random users with their emails. Let's do it once more. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so because we're fetching, we want to fetch our data on page load, um, we need to tap into a lifecycle method. And you can see here we've got component did mount. Um, that's the, well as far as I can tell from research, that's the place where you normally will access API information if you want to use it like for these kind of purposes, like say, like my weather app yesterday, say I wanted to show a whole lot of um, interesting facts or stats when the page first loads, that's when I'd call that data. Um, so component did mount is triggered after React kind of realizes that the component has loaded the component onto the DOM and then it goes back and collects that data and um, populates the, populates the um, DOM with the data how this method works is what we're doing is we're fetching um, from the API random user dot me 10 results just gonna pause oh no he's stopping okay and then what it does is takes those results um, turns them into a JSON file and then what we do is we actually map those 10 results and I'm mapping them into an HTML div which includes a image and a person um, and then what we're doing is setting the state of pictures, which I declared as like an empty array to start, to equal pictures, which is those mapped um, objects which can contain like HTML elements. Um, I actually did originally intend to try and map this as an as like individual objects, so I can then render them as individual like as components. Um, but I don't know wasn't having a bar of it today and I figured that for now this is a fine start. I've pulled that data, um, I've used a um, life cycle method and played around for the day so I thought I'd leave it at that. Tomorrow I will focus at um, pulling this data in like a more sensible or, or kind of like a better way. Because you can see down here I actually don't have any other components. All I am doing is rendering these elements just by calling this.state.pictures directly inside um, the render block. Cool, so I'll leave it there for now. Um, bye.